Okay, I just added Stuart, so I don't know why I will run out, but I'm going to try it again. So today is um, Sunday, um, February the 11th, 2024, and I was just saying that um, I am, I didn't go to church today because of limited finances once again. I, I'm an educator, I'm a teacher, but um, I make a decent salary, you know, not where I want to be yet, but it's decent, you know, but because um, I'm, I'm, I'm in between places, like I've been saying, air, uh, hotels and Airbnbs, because it's a process to be able to find what I'm, you know, where I want to permanently stay, so that's why it's a process, so um, this place I'm staying right now, I'm probably going to be out of here next couple of days. Sum it up real quick because I'm trying to pee myself many times here. So anyway, I'll just leave it at that right now. Um, and so I am, I was, I was, I didn't go to church today. So this is like my third Sunday not going to church. Like this, it's probably it's because the fine. That's what it is because of the finances. Because it's like you know, I, God, he provides, he takes care of his kids. But you know, the enemy, he fights it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just the truth. You know, sometimes it's life. You know, like I know with the, my taxes last year, I believe when I was waiting for my refund, it was it was delayed a couple of times because of some like they needed to verify my ID or something. So I, that happened last year, which is you know, some things happen that are just normal but some things you know just the haters you know it's a combination of different things like some of it's normal and some of it's the hate the enemy you know it's plural, you know multiple things going with that so the point is i'm trying to say is that god provides but the enemy fights it you know like daniel would think it took 21 days for the prayer to be answered because the enemy is crazy and he fights you know what i mean that's just reality unfortunately because he doesn't you know want you to you know so anyway not getting connectivity so anyway so god led me i was talking about thinking about this yesterday praying about you know um because i get paid on tuesday and i actually was to leave here tomorrow so i'm in prayer about how guys can work it out the way it goes i'll be all right trust me i got me so um but um because i have i have like unemployment so it's like fifteen hundred dollars and also my taxes are supposed to be here i may even get my taxes on tuesday or wednesday i'm not sure because I, I there was some type of doing late but i think it's been taken care of so you know I, so that you see when, when i'm believing for you know my tough scripture i'm believing on the first one is that she was so be mine in Atlanta. she was to escape my enemies and i already know it's already done then the second one is bless the lord make it rich abundantly blessed no sorrow no sorrow that means abundantly blessed not just getting you know i'm okay you know i make a decent value for a teacher but you know not not having to deal with this kind of stuff because the finances wouldn't have been delayed then i wouldn't have to you know i wouldn't have to deal with this so that's it's an issue but you know i know it's coming you know there's a third one i bless those who bless your curse those that curse you that's a big one and then i'll cause the enemies to be at peace with you <laughs> shaking my head at that one i mean you know it's possible and then the last one is anything i give for jesus christ to get back much more in this life in life to come there's one more i just added i'm pretty about that we'll talk about that soon but i was talking thinking about this yesterday because i was kind of feeling like depressed like you know i listened to pastor joe's message today at church who was this february 11th 2024 this is that message at lakewood so powerful talking about how the loss you the loss you like the old confident you know you know believe leaving for your dream you know sometimes we have a dream you know here comes the enemy you know how he goes i just did about that the other day at my job you know here he comes trying to because he doesn't want god's people to believe in who they are he doesn't want the god's people to believe in their dreams or anyone that's really has a dream like liquid um well she was christian so it's like well yeah of course but there was this african-american woman at lakewood today classical pianist i don't know, I don't know how people have i see how people, god gives you gifts I'm like, wow, I'm a man. I can. I don't think I could ever do something like. That. I mean, it's just a man. Or artists, you see artists that paint these beautiful pictures and portraits and or these sculptures and these people that have these amazing gifts that you know they come from God. You know, it's like these amazing gifts that people have. I'm like Pastor Joe, like I remember listen, used to listen to him, and I would be like amazed at his ability to be able to stand up there and do such an anointed. Mr. Jakes too. Like those are my two favorite. You know, those are my two favorite, right? Pastor Joe is my first, and Mr. Jakes is my second. But just the gifts that God gives. She was talking about that, how your gift will ring before great men and your gifts and talents can make room for you and you have to be willing to do the work that it takes to make your dreams come true. You can't just be lazy. You can't be compliant. You have to do the work it takes and then your gifts, God will make room for your gifts to bring you ready. Because I know God got this. He's totally in control. He has a great destiny for me and the ones I pray for. First one, thy seed shall be mighty in the land. Thy seed shall be the skin of thy enemies. That's a big one. Second one, I just said that, you know, um, bless and Lord, make it rich. Only bless and sorry to it. Bless with the bless your curse to curse you. It will cause your enemies to peace with you. And the last one, I mean, I'm sorry, you know, anything is possible. I mean, I believe that, you know, there's a time and season for everything. And I'm blessed. I'm okay. But just, and it's going to get half the right to this bride and bride. You know, a prophet says, make negative power life. There's no tongue we should figure out. You know, it's just like either way, I know God got to me. I'm just, you know, it is what it is sometimes. So, and of course, the last one, anything I give up for Jesus Christ, I give back much more in this life and in life to come as well for me all the ones i pray for so in the last one and so um so i've just been doing videos you know guys i'm back at work and everything like that and so i've been following up on my school situation so i actually have to immediately when i come in on monday follow up 
on this hearing situation and my school situation we turned it back to my classroom i was sending a video that I did yesterday that i absolutely love what i'm doing temporarily right now I abs i'm loving it it's wonderful i'm just having a ball actually i see god you know he performed his work tell you i'm actually myself i'm okay i'm having a wonderful time as a matter of fact you know little haters but you know it is what it is but for the most part i'm really enjoying it so i've, I've been doing a recap of my um curriculum that i'm working on and i'm sure the panic can write you guys have seen it but um let's change this cover it's getting a little wrinkled there but you guys have seen what i've been working on here's my resume and like doing taxonomy and so I, what i want to focus on is i guess you guys know what i've been doing i've been focusing on the the um star test and did all my research on the current standards for the star testing so you know so what i want to focus on you guys have seen all this you know this is the lead forward site for teachers to use to help them assess their students you know where they are academically and their strengths and weaknesses and all that based on the required objectives i've my lesson plans and so some notes so you guys have seen this that's what i'm talking about this is the the, the game I created, which are based on the star test questions, that the specific questions you just can ask students to do with each other that make them know, you know, what these are, you know, and all that. So you guys know this, my reading floor, how you use this, this is what I'm working on. This is what the project I'm working on right now. I'll do that, show that later. I'm adding some cute little pictures to it. It's like my reading vocabulary definitions. It gives us to, I like that later. That's my reading, my reading definite, my um, notebook that I'm gonna do with other students. I'll talk about that later. But what I wanted to focus on, did you guys know my children's story? I was just thinking about this last night. And so, let's see all my little graphic organizers real quick. This is Lee Ford, quick check. And these are some combinations for gifted and special education. So this is it, the real princess. So um, these I did before, these are stories, you know, I've read and said, Sarah Sheen, I've said, remember I said these come from Book Creator. I wrote the story, but they used Book Creator at, in the district. My sister used to have it. I don't, I don't know if they do. They might still have it. But And Book Creator takes it and turns to a really cool story and has really cool features for you. So I was thinking, because, you know, I still want to do my message belief for the Lakewood Church. And I contacted them last night again about that. It's Black History Month. That'd be the perfect time to do it. But I was thinking, because remember my message, what I want to do and believe for it, really, really wonderful, awesome, awesome message. I was just thought this idea last night, and then when I saw the African-American lady at Lakewood, they gave me another idea. So one of the children's stories is called the Drewnette Chain Sanderville, right, myself, book creator. And so I actually have this story memorized by heart. Can't really see the features in here, but like real cute features in here that's from book creator that I take my story that I wrote. And then they it actually reads it to them and it gives them the link. It's very creative. It's a very creative little program. This is another I wrote myself, but this several years ago. Yeah, real cute little book creator program. Okay, this is it, not that one. Okay, but this is cute. So this is it. Yes, this is it. So, so yeah, there you go. Okay, thank you. So that's what so I got this idea last night about how I want to do. I have this message that I plan believe for it. Like when I contacted them about that last night again, believe for it. And it's supposed to be Christmas month, so it'd be perfect. So if I was going to do it at Christmas, man, it's about Christmas, you know, whatever. I'm still putting it out there because I got God's word, we're not coming back to the voice. So if, he, if it's meant to be, it happens. So so I was thinking, like, because I, the message believe for is originally for the young people for because I'm a teacher and because the school situation I thought it would put me on a platform through Lakewood Church to be able to talk to the young people and let them know that's, going, that's what's going on with me, you know. You believe for your dreams and you believe God and you do things his way, eventually it will work out for the good and you'll be very happy with the results and he will honor you, you know. And so that's what she's talking about in that message. So that gave me this idea. So this story right here, the go, Monica's, and then this one several years ago. So I, this one I remember, wrote it and I memorized it. And then you wrote Town of Sanderville. They lived the one in Vanderville. Vanderville was very concerned because the town just would not learn how to keep the earth so clean and free. <laughs> I, remember, I don't know how I just memorized it several years ago. I know that by heart. I wrote it myself and I memorized it. And then this one is on Amelia Bedelia. Bedelia. So I'm a teacher, you know, so I was like, the message originally believed for it was for the young people and then the well as adults, parents, you know, because I'm an educator, you know, fresh expert actually in the field of education. I was, I was a researcher and all that and everything. And so I got the kind of idea when I saw her today. I was like, hmm. So maybe... Because I was thinking, I was just saying this to myself last night, like this one on Amelia Bedelia, for example, is, if you ever heard of stories of Amelia Bedelia? I used to listen to them when I was a younger child. They're very funny. And so she's, she's, she's this girl, this girl, she's in school. She doesn't understand why they don't, her teachers don't get what, what's going on. So it's really funny. I was laughing at it last night. It's like they're in figurative language, you know, it's based on objectives. So this one, he tells her that she just, she wants them to cut her up. They, they're getting ready for this little dance in their little dance class. So she literally takes it, she takes it literally, it's figurative language. She takes it literally, she goes and close and cuts her up, like literally. And then um, the teacher tells them, paint from the very center of your being. So she pulls up her belly, pulls up a shirt. <laughs> it's like two eggs in one basket. So she actually goes shopping and gets two eggs in one basket. 
it's refrigerator in this pool, so she thinks there's refrigerator in the pool. So she like, <laughs> it's like based on the movie, but Julia, this guy says to her, get out of here. So she gets really sad thinking he really means for her to leave. She doesn't understand that they're using figurative language. <laughs> She thinks they're like literal. She's saying, we're, we might as well throw in the towel. And she's supposed to get some towel. So it's like, I made it. This cute. It's based on, I got the idea from Amelia Medelia. Her barks more than her bite. She's like, she's a dog? I didn't know she was a dog. Like, so she, the, the little girl doesn't get that it's figurative language. That's the message. It's the subject that we teach. You know, figurative language. What they're literally saying, what they figuratively are meaning. So it's, it's based on, I got the idea from Amelia Medelia. Those stories, she was like that. She was like a maid. And so she would do stuff and her boss would just like laugh at her. And just like, her boss would like, she would take her literally like, when she would tell her to do something like cut a rug or something she literally thought she meant actually go cut a rug so, so anyway so I thought that was so I was thinking that would be kind of like a cute little twist you know what I'm saying like because I'm a teacher and everything so I was trying to think of some ideas about brainstorming about that and everything so anyway but I do still want to do my message belief for the liquid church and everything like that I'm in the choir you know either way it goes guys good but I would like to do that I saw a butterfly a yellow butterfly out here when Pastor Joel's message was, was the one I was listening to because I'm in my little room I was listening to the message. So I was, I was like, oh, there's a little yellow, yellow butterfly. I, was, I mean, I don't know if I like that. But then as soon as he started preaching, it disappeared. I didn't see it anymore. So I'm like, yeah, thank you very much. That's the sign from the Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I've written the songs and skits and the songs that I was going to do when the Houston with the Magic King, which I've done with my students in the past. You know, um, I've done little skits for kids and stuff like that. Um, African Americans, African American History Month, kids for kids. So it's like it would be a nice little combination for you know the young people. I'm a teacher, 